Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Yeah, strength. You know, being vulnerable can bring you a lot of strength. You, The thinking woman is here. So like I said, epiphanies and revelations, you may really be thinking about this right now. The sun, this um, coming into some type of enlightenment or awareness about what's going to bring you um, peace, happiness, joy, and fulfillment in your life. There's a cycle here that's over. I feel like some type of karmic cycle is over. And as a result, it's going to really put you in a position. Yeah, this awareness that you're stepping into with the um, seventh chakra here. This is the crown chakra. It's going to open you up to adjacent possibilities. Okay. So strategy here. Um, you're needing to plan something here. Or there could have been some type of plan against you that has backfired. Someone could be coming into the awareness that a, a plan or, or tactic or strategy that you, they had to keep you in a cycle. It didn't work. So, I mean, that will make you victorious. But I would say um, for the collective to just make sure that you are adjust, adjusting your mindset about certain things. Make sure that you're being very happy, optimistic being very pleasant, being mindful of how you react and respond. But um, keep in mind self-control, moderation, balance, peace, and harmony as we are here in Sagittarius season right now. This is alchemy. You have to be mindful of what you're blending your energy with. What are you letting in? The lovers is here and the hierophant. This is a deck that I just received um, recently from Kim. Thank you so much. This is the guardian angel tarot deck so i'm gonna use this today for the first time these cards are really pretty so you have here the lovers okay so you have a choice to make here and it's going to require you to be assertive you're gonna have to take a chance um i i feel like a lot of people right now your root chakra and crown chakra could be experiencing a, um, an upgrade, like an activation here. Some of you, your root chakra could be blocked or your chakras could be over. Um, some It's like it's something here is out of balance because broken heart is here. You know, er, everything is energy. It's all connected. There's um, maybe your chakras need to be tuned up or balanced. Because something here is off. It's like your root and your crown are working together. But I feel like you're coming into some type of awareness about something in your childhood. When, when I think about the, the first chakra, the root chakra, something that happened between, you know, the age of from birth to like the age of seven or eight. Your childhood, that period of you being conditioned and kind of molded for the world. It, it could have been something that was karmic. You could realize that. Things in your life or in your family, just different dynamics around you have been karmic in nature, meaning it was supposed to teach you something. And now you're coming into this enlightenment, this awareness about something that could have possibly broken your heart. It could have caused you some setbacks in your life. And perhaps it the beauty in that situation is it puts you on your path to getting closer to spirit. But I feel like now you're trying to find the strength to find joy and, and peace and happiness in a new cycle but you haven't moved the baseline you haven't shifted your mindset to being victorious there's still a bit of like victim consciousness here yeah the four of, of water is here in the moon so this is some type of um illusion it's a blockage with within your mind this is your subconscious mind at this point you're still you're still unhappy or dissatisfied with the way a situation like the final outcome in some type of situation. There is some type of disappointment or regret here. So let's get into it. The page of, of water, the page of cups, the five of cups, more disappointment. So there's a need here for you to forgive yourself or someone because it looks like you, if this isn't you, of course, it could be someone else. Someone is in deep regret about a situation. Yeah, four of wands, four of fire. So this is some type of union. It's something that it should have been celebrated. This could be family, home, security, 
friends um this could be a failed relationship it's something here about your stability your structure where you're disappointed about something here this is this is a sensitive matter or subject for you so maybe you know you didn't you weren't able to reconcile your differences with someone you're not rekindling a friendship or a relationship you know, uh, an opportunity could have fallen through and this could kind of have you in your head about this, but release. Beautiful. Yeah. You're needing to release this because whatever is being released, it's giving you the freedom now to create the life exactly as you want it. Yeah. The King of Wands and the Three of Wands. So there's a, something very beautiful that's coming in for you. That's going to allow you to expand. You have these goals and this vision for your life. It's like you've been inspired to do something. But again, you're still needing to release the disappointment around some situation here that broke your heart. And with the sun being here, this could be something from childhood. So, you know, this could have been you lost a, a close friend, family member. Um, there was some type of, you know, unfortunately... Um, like a, a traumatic type of situation that may have happened. I, I keep saying it because it's very true. Seasonal depression and, you know, sort of being down around the holidays is very common for people. So this feels like an energy where you're just reflecting. The page of, cup, of cups was the very first card with the five of cups being the second card. If I'm not mistaken, the moon is in Pisces right now. So um, in, intuitively, you're tapping into a lot at this time so just be strong here and um you're gonna have to persevere and have the courage of course to take a leap of faith i want to look into what exactly is this new opportunity of course you all you know what it is that you may have to release or like i said this may be someone free from um Someone feeling this way about you or that's in your environment that needs to release something. But you have the strength card here and the, the ten of cups. So with this here, it's like you may have had to leave a family situation behind. Or like I said, someone that you're dealing with. This could be a breakup, a, a divorce, a separation. You guys could be separating from kids or something like that. Or this is saying that you just need to have more compassion even for your family because something here is is about conditioning childhood um maybe you're doing some shadow work healing the inner child which is always good but you're needing to persevere here so that you can create your own happiness at this point yeah three of swords again broken a broken heart i mean what wait is this um This is a lot of cards that came out all at once. The Ten of Swords is here. Okay, so something here is painful. Okay, something here is leading to a broken heart. But this feels like this is something that has already happened. Okay, so I don't want anyone to really be afraid. This feels like something that has already happened. Because the Renewal card is here with judgment. It's like you're reflecting on a situation and it's leading to self-evaluation at this point your intuition is is on fire about something you're receiving some type of clarity about a situation and i feel like whatever the truth is or the clarity that you're receiving it it is hurtful it is some type of again like a realization or an epiphany but once you once you accept this and deal with it it's going to allow you to take a leap of faith. The Fool card is here and the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to break free from this and be independent and have victory success. You're going to be content. Okay. And this could have to do with your family dynamic that you currently have or that you're about to create here. Yeah, the Queen of Earth is here. So this is this card even says capable. You're capable of breaking through whatever this illusion is or... You're just going to have to see through the fog here. 
it, this definitely feels though like something is resurfacing because the broken heart card is here with the action and the world it's like you're, you're needing to really push through whatever this situation is it's something like a, a, a shadow aspect of yourself or something that's karmic that is following you it, it's like you're having a difficult time with closing out some type of cycle here or you're dealing with someone who is connected to you they're having a very difficult time with getting out of a karmic cycle and i feel like it's affecting your overall security stability your mood and everything else you know when the heart is not open when the mind is not open when things are not flowing that affects your finances and everything something here kind of has someone just off balance off kilter right now seven of swords yeah there's some type of betrayal here possibly you're coming into awareness about something to a fire but again whatever it is it's going to allow you to make progress so maybe this is just like some type of clarity coming in for you. Hurtful, but you know, it's the truth. It's the truth that you need. Yeah, the page of wands, the two of wands and the page of wands. So if you've been planning or, or trying to make pro progress in the situation, the page of wands is saying that you're about to become more motivated because you are going to receive news. Okay, and then you have the queen of wands, the ace of wands and the two of cups. So some of you are just really overcoming like a breakup or something. You're finding out the truth about a situation or you're dealing with a person who's finally about to have a breakthrough when it comes to some karmic cycle. And for a lot of you, this, this could be a karmic cycle with a soulmate, meaning a soulmate could be a friend, a family member, a lover. It could be anyone. But this is a long cycle that's finally ending here. And the Eight of Wands is here. So it looks like, yeah... You're trying to get through the five of wands, a lot of conflict, chaos, competition, or drama in a situation. It, it feels like it's it's almost over or something was over and it resurfaced, but now you're going to be able to make call judgment on this situation. Like the final, this is the final judgment of something. It really feels like something though that has already happened. Yeah, justice. I told you justice. And the Six of Pentacles. So it's being balanced out. Yep. So you're receiving justice here. Okay. Either you're making a very tough decision or someone that you are in close contact or communication with. They're making a... This, this is like a life-altering type of decision, though. But it's going to allow you to really move forward. And interestingly enough, this deck that I have over here to the side, at the bottom of the deck is the Justice card. And another deck that I have over here, the the, the card at the bottom is the Two of Swords. So if there's been any kind of stalemate situation in your life, okay, you're breaking through some type of illusion. You're seeing the truth about something you're looking at something and you're, it's, it's, it's becoming crystal clear. Or, or this is someone else. But someone is about to take action to balance something out. Let's just look at the regular tarot for a minute. Yeah, you're about to have a clear vision of when, where, why, and how you're going to expand. There's the opportunity being presented to you, but again, yeah, you're receiving good news, but you just need to not focus on something that didn't work in your favor. The Two of Cups, there is a good news coming in about a partnership, whether it be professional, romantic, or platonic, okay? Don't miss this opportunity. That's the reason why you have to close something out. I feel like this has been a repeating message, but right now a lot of people are going through many, many different endings. Um, you could be experiencing endings or transformations in multiple areas of your life. And all the cards keep falling out. It's like five or six cards are falling out at a time. So we have the four of wands here coming out. So for a lot of you, this is about a relationship. Okay. 
um, or something that has brought you a lot of stability and security with the four of wands here. Some of you may be moving away from friends and family. Maybe you're relocating. Um, some of you may be moving away from a particular job. You're, you're making, you're turning a big page. It's like, it's not just a, a, a page flip here. You're, you're closing a chapter. You're closing a book. And you're going into something else. Some of you are letting go of a karmic soulmate and you're going towards like a life partner. Okay, for some of you, you may feel like you're closing the cycle with a twin flame. Okay, and, and you're choosing a soulmate now because you just want to get off this merry-go-round of having all of this stress, fear, and anxiety. Whatever the decision is that you are making, though, it is something that is protected. Okay, there was some karmic debts that has to be repaid. I feel like that has been done. You're moving forward. Okay, you gained a lot of wisdom in whatever this situation is. It's something here that has just completely exhausted you. There's no more lessons to learn. It brought you the wisdom and the enlightenment that you needed now for you to be able to start over. You're wanting some type of reciprocity, generosity in your life. And I feel like that's coming, but if you don't actually heal whatever this broken heartedness is that you have, or the person that you're dealing with, if they don't do that, there could be a missed opportunity here because there's something that's right there. It's waiting for you to grab it, but I don't think that you're, you're, you're not in the right heart space or, or mind to have it. But here's the sun, the 10 of cups. And the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Yeah, your breakthrough is here. Some of you are just having a bit of paranoia or anxiety. But so there's something very beautiful here. And I feel like we keep saying this. Like, this energy that we're in, you guys, right now, it is very, very weird. Because a lot of people are, are balancing that feminine and masculine energy. And I've been thinking a lot about this just, you know, outside of the channel and tarot. Unfortunately, even thinking about like the root chakra, depending on how you are raised or who raised you, your community, your environment and everything else. Oftentimes, the reason why it is such a struggle for people to have happiness right now is because you haven't been conditioned to trust people around you and therefore you don't trust yourself. A lot of people due to emotional abuse. Um that maybe you didn't even recognize as emotional abuse or narcissistic abuse or whatever it is, your mind, your subconscious mind now associates love with trauma or connection with rejection because maybe you've had a lot of friendships or relationships or different opportunities taken from you. And so you may not feel emotionally safe. This is something and it's a, it's a mind blockage. Where it's like you're wanting to go for you have something being presented to you, but you're not recognizing it. Or this is someone in your life. They're not seeing the gem or the jewel that you are. They don't see your your value because maybe they're having a problem with seeing their own worthiness and value right now. And this could have been because of how they were treated, you know, as a child or in past relationships. This is an ongoing cycle of not recognizing value, self-worth and value. But if you don't clear away these blockages here, it will become extremely hard for you to collaborate with someone else or to really be um, rewarded and recognized. It's like you have to carry yourself like you're worthy of good things the emperor is here this is power it's prestige it's structure it's authority it's it's balance it's a certain type of image here for some of you this is in the workplace you know with the three of pentacles being here if you don't carry yourself like you deserve to be a manager you won't be a manager if you don't apply for certain roles you know at a certain level then you want and i was saying before baseline you need to raise your baseline you don't need to be afraid to negotiate you don't need to be afraid to ask for more you don't need to be afraid to to change roles or positions or relocate this is fear something fear-based here that's blocking you because of some type of trauma or conditioning 
And I feel like whoever hears this, like, you'll know exactly what it is for you. It could be something that you never really even talk about or think about that's resurfacing. Or it will resurface. Yeah, the king of swords here. This is being very detached. And maybe now you're choosing um, with the judgment card here to take a second look at something. Or someone is doing this with you. And you're needing to overlook a situation with a bit more compassion. So that you can plan how to move ahead. Okay. Speaking of conditioning, like even when you think about how you may have been raised by your parents or whomever raised you. You can carry a bit of bitterness and resentment, but if you really sit back and perhaps if you listen to how they were raised or what they went through, you may want to be careful of how you judge a person or a situation. You may be needing to have a bit more compassion because something here, it may have seemed like it was de it was deceptive or it was a betrayal. It was a stab in the back or you know, it brought you bad luck, but spirit is saying, no, everything is fine. At this point, you need to take time out to rest, to retreat and get back into your heart space here. The queen of cups, nurture yourself. Now, what's very interesting is this, this story is about to get very specific. You have the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands and behind it is the devil. Okay. Okay. Now it gets very specific. Some of you are dealing with a person. Who has very, very strong. Codependency issues. They could even have addictions. There could be a sex addiction here. There could be someone could have narcissistic like traits. I feel like for some of you, you have a person who is coming into your life. Most likely. For many of you, someone is coming back. This person wants you to have compassion for them, but I feel like this person has been perhaps a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. Okay. This person may be going through an awakening right now and coming to the conclusion of why they needed so many different energies. Because as I said before, someone here, based on how they were raised and what they've been conditioned to believe, maybe they cling on to a lot of people because they fear intimacy. They fear commitment. They honestly, deep down, they fear like rejection, they associate connection with rejection. So somebody may be coming into this awareness that, you know, they surround themselves with a lot of different people or they have a lot of different lovers or they keep in contact with a lot of different friends and family member out of just codependency. But there is no real connection. Someone is coming into this awareness and they're like, they're really, really anxious now to have this new beginning but they had to recognize this first this could be you or it could be someone you're dealing with or it could be both of you but for some of you this could definitely be someone coming back or you could be dealing with a person right now yeah someone here with the page of swords is looking into a situation i feel like um the page of swords too someone is reflecting even on a situation and realizing that something was karmic and it was it was unfair it was unjust it was it was imbalanced here you could have told someone something like this seven of pentacles and and i'm this is giving me you just gave up somebody they they couldn't see because with the emperor and the king of swords here someone here they were not worried about feelings emotions this is someone who is probably very much emotionally unavailable i'm hearing they were numb okay this person was numb this person all they do they work it's, it's all about the business there's no connection or anything but this person they feed their flesh and their ego with the energy of a lot of different people narcissistic you know traits but this person um ha, ha, could have possibly experienced abuse maybe when they were a child and so now what this person does is they hide 
they hide behind the money, the power, or whatever, or having multiple people. When in actuality, this person, they're uh, they've been afraid to tell the truth about their life, their journey, their path. There's a reason why someone lives somewhat of an unconventional type of lifestyle, why they do things that may be considered taboo. This person is afraid of love. This person is afraid of connection. I feel like you waited on this person. For some of you, you're experiencing almost like mourning a person because they're coming into this awareness now, but for you, it may be too late. Yeah. Because the three of wands is here and the five of pentacles. I feel like this is someone, it's a day late and a dollar short. Someone is finding out now that the reason why they were left out in the cold is because of what you told them. Because they, they come with too many burdens and too much baggage. Someone here has refused to drop the burdens and the baggage in their life in order to have a brand new beginning here where there is stability and security. And then, of course, behind us, you have the five of cups. So this is a missed opportunity. I mean, there's always a chance when you see the five of cups because you still see two cups standing. If you choose not to, to cry over spilled milk, so it's going to be different. I mean, for some of you, like you will be willing to deal with this. For some of you, this is someone from the past. For some of you, you may meet someone and they just got out of a breakup and they're on their healing journey. And you may have to have a little bit of compassion and patience with this person. You may, you know, connect with somebody and they may just flat out tell you, that they had they had some type of addiction or toxic trait and they're working through it. And only time will reveal like is this person making changes? Is this is this something that you're willing to deal with? For some of you it's someone from the past and they're coming back telling you that they've changed and because of your own wounding and your past with this person in other situations, it looks to me like you can't really trust this. You're choosing not to trust it because I, there's a clear choice here. The two of cups and the four of wands. For some of you, this is a reconciliation. Okay. Or like I said, a brand new person. Okay. The three of cups is here. Somebody wants to come in and talk and celebrate with you, but I feel like your guard is up. This per Someone here has done a lot of damage. Yeah, and it looks like now you're choosing to move in a different direction. And this person, they really want to fight now for justice in this situation. This person could have been married. Okay, some of you could have been married to this person and they were like a serial cheater. For some of you, you're just making the decision to go towards something that's more traditional because you're not willing to be juggled. You don't want to be juggled. You don't want anything in your life that's unstable. So again, it's you have raised your baseline. For some of you, this was like, you know, the one that got away. Like this person, either they fumbled you or you fumbled them. And someone here is having a lot of regrets and they're really thinking about rushing in. But for many people here, this looks like a missed opportunity. Because this is all rooted in fear. Yeah, look. Someone, I feel like they want to rush towards you, but the brokenheartedness here, this is one of those things where it's like, yeah, you can't get out of your head about this. And for some of you, you have a person who is working very hard, watching you and monitoring you, who's possibly trying to keep you in your head about some type of heartbreaking situation so that you won't actually go towards wish fulfillment and happiness or a very serious committed relationship with someone. Yeah, you have new love here that's going to bring about a lot of healing. A lot. This is new love coming in for you. Yeah, this cycle here is over and you're moving on to peaceful, calmer waters. You're trusting your intuition and your intuition right now is telling you to move away from something that could possibly end up still being disastrous in the in the future. Someone here is coming in saying that they've changed, but I feel like the karma here, I just heard pay what you weigh. This person has to pay what they weigh and this person has a whole lot of bodies and that you got to pay what you weigh. I feel like you're freeing yourself from this. However, your soul is still crying out. 
yeah this brings you a lot of confusion but ultimately i think you're ready to open your heart up and move in a different direction because you become awakened and aware about the fact that this person has they've hurt you beyond any type of repair in this situation and so the temperance angel here is coming in to give you peace balance and harmony it's just difficult because some of you you're, you're realizing that you can no longer lie to yourself about the fact that you now are you have no choice but to move forward wow so i mean this is kind of sad but at the same time i i think that it's a new adventure for you eight of wands so like it's, for some of you you could be moving to like a, a new job a new home um relocating your life is just changing and it's probably making you look and reflect over things to see like wow that cycle of my life is completely over and done and you're coming into this awareness and this acceptance of the fact that like something here is not coming back so for some of you you know you definitely could be trying to steal your your mourning or grieving the loss of someone okay but for some of you like this person they haven't departed this realm they're still here, but energetically, you cannot allow them in in anymore. Like, you just, you have to cut some ties here. You are going to have new love, though. Someone who is going to be emotionally available, as opposed to someone who is very cold, detached, very status quo-like, focused on, you know, the money, the power, the success, the image. The King of Cups is someone who's going to be trustworthy and devoted. And they're going to recognize you as a divine feminine. Meaning they're going to recognize your need to be nurtured. And like they're going to know that you're in a position. You're worthy of being the, the recipient of actual tender loving caring kind nature from someone they're gonna know that yeah the page of cups is here this offer though is causing someone from your past who very well could be very obsessed and um i'm, I'm hearing they're obsessed and depressed about the fact that you're moving on this person wants to rush in but you're needing to walk by faith and not by sight i think right now if you're wondering i feel like spirit is giving you the green light to move forward and and don't look back it's going to take a lot of strength and courage because for some of you like i said you may this could be someone you're married to or you were married to or engaged to someone you could have children with but this holding on to this energy is actually blocking you from taking action and having a, a full rebirth and having wish fulfillment in your life so there's something here that just has to go yeah and sometimes you guys you know energy is fluid sometimes this this has nothing to do with like a physical part it's the energy it's your thoughts about a situation you know ask yourself what are you still holding on holding on to you know what is living rent free in your mind again if this is not you this could be someone you're dealing with you know you could be dealing with the type of person that's constantly bringing up their ex or they're constantly bringing up a situation from their past and it's like someone here really needs to yeah end something death so someone could have lost someone but for some of you this is just a need to accept that something is over Something is no longer, for some of you, welcomed in your life. There's a rebirth that needs to happen. The magician. Yeah. Something is over because it's time for you to manifest something new. You've already gained all of the wisdom that you can from a particular person, place, thing, or situation, a job, or whatever. There's nothing more to learn. Like, you've gotten all the tools and resources that you can you can get from that that place or that thing that person and so now the seven of wands is here this is you fighting for a new beginning it's you liberating yourself it's you removing yourself from blockages that are visible and invisible so the things that are physical as well as the things that are just there energetically that are keeping you stuck it's blocking your connection to spirit and for some of you it's blocking your finances 
the chariot is here so this is all about moving forward with victory and success towards the lovers the lover speaks of a choice though you have the choice now to move on to new love you can choose something different because you get to raise the bar your baseline has changed some of you are still trying to make a situation work or you're reconsidering working with somebody and you're perhaps failing to realize you're not the same person it's really safe now for you to raise the bar it's safe now for you to go after exactly what you want it's safe for you to guard your heart and protect yourself from someone who is emotionally unavailable who right now is probably about to enter a season in their life where they have to pay what they weigh and like i said this person is carrying a lot of bodies this person has mentally physically emotionally energetically i hope not but possibly sexually abused many people for their own gain Okay, there's a, a very dark, monstrous-like side to this person. And because this person carries this, like, devilish type of energy, the Eight of Swords is here. You stay in your head about this person. You, you, you have some type of guilt about leaving this person behind. Spirit is saying, no, raise the bar change this is no longer your baseline i feel like whoever this person is is someone that you have a lot of respect for you honor this person so this could be someone who is a boss it could be um an elder this could be a lover but this is you know for some like i said it's the one that you feel like got away it's the one that you thought was the best you know and spirit is saying no they're not your best because when you met this person or you were in the situation with this person you are not your best. Your value has increased. Therefore, what you can attract, what you are a vibrational match for now, is better than this person or this, this job or whatever this is. Yeah, justice is here. Yeah, you're receiving justice. And then the world, wow. <laughs> the high priestess and the judgment card. Ooh, and the emperor. Yeah, wow. Wow, wow. Hmm. I feel like there's an emperor here. You know, this could be male or female, but a masculine energy here who did not take action to heal, to close out karmic cycles. I feel like with this person, both of you were in a karmic energy when you were dealing with one another. You perhaps are in this air, this energy now as like the high priestess where you are trying to attract abundance and success and you're highly protected. It's like your soul is it's purging this energy out and it's repelling this energy because your baseline has changed. You have you've experienced a level up. You know, it's like you look the same. Some days you feel the same, but who you are spiritually, your baseline has changed. You're you're just not a vibrational match for something anymore. And so it doesn't matter how hard you fight for it, what you do, it's like you've learned the so this is something karmic. You've learned the lesson, there's nothing else to learn. So no matter what you do, it's almost like this just can't come back into your life because it was only there to teach you a reason a, a lesson anyway you're you're someone here you're going to have to really swallow that that pill of understanding that something that you wanted for a lifetime was a lesson there's a person or or some people in your life or a situation that was very very karmic and if this is a relationship you and this person you were karma to one another you both have to teach each other a very serious lesson in self-worth and value. Because this person thought that they were increasing their value by decreasing other people's value. I feel like you, and, and you really was a victim for this person. You were supply for this person, but they're, you were breaking some type of chain of codependency here. Because... For some people, if you if you don't feel worthy, you will chain yourself to someone who looks like they are worthy. You know, you will chain yourself to an emperor who's not divine. They just 
they appear to be masculine. They appear to be some of the things that you're not. As in, you know, maybe they're a self-starter. They're an entrepreneur. They're a go-getter. They do the things that you're afraid to do. But th this person is, they're amped up on other people's energy. When you take these sources of energy from this person, <laughs> they're powerless. Now that you're breaking this empath narcissist paradigm or cycle here and you're no longer choosing to be codependent or to have these toxic attachment styles your the energetic like the frequency that you're on now is purging the, like you and this person you can't get on the same page even if you wanted to and this is painful for some of you because like i said this could be someone you're married to you share children with for some of you it's a dynamic with someone in your family and you're just seeing like okay the well has run dry here. You're at the end of the road. There's there's nothing else to learn. This this is an abusive situation. It's not mutually beneficial to the two of you. It's there's no reciprocity here. Anything else? Oh, two of cups and the ace of pentacles. So you have a brand new offer coming in. This is your reward for job well done, for, for choosing yourself. You're receiving now a divine blessing that's coming in the form of a new soulmate, okay? Two of Cups, this could be a new soulmate, but the, the beautiful thing is whether you consider it a soulmate, a twin flame, life partner, whatever, whatever you bring to the table, they bring to the table, especially emotions. This for many of you is just someone who is very narcissistic and you want to send this person off with love and light and forgiveness because something happened in this person's life where they were hurt and wounded so badly that they chose money, a, a superficial life and other things over love. But this person, they still hurt you. For some of you, they harmed you in some type of way. They broke your heart and they didn't have to do that, but they saw you as just supply. They didn't see your worth and your value, but honestly, I feel like when you cross paths with this person, you didn't see your own worth and value. So you and this person, you were karmic to each other. Karmic relationships are very hard to detach yourself from, though. Very hard. But this rejection is protection, and this is, it was a reason, a season, but it's, it's just not meant to be a lifetime. It's a lifetime lesson, but it's not a lifetime experience for you and that's hard to accept but i think that when you fully accept this you're going to notice that the blockages in your finances your blockages with your higher self with god with source the the you know the imbalance in your emotions all of that is going to stabilize and balance out and I feel like God is kind of giving you a, a warning message now too, to um, really step into your own strength and have, you know, that, that power and assertiveness about yourself. Because whoever this person is, they're about to face a lot of karma. I keep hearing pay what you weigh. And with this devil being here next to these three queens, this person has some bodies on them and they have to pay what they weigh. This person weighs a lot because they're carrying a lot of bodies. This person has hurt people, hurt people, hurt people, and they're about to go through a cycle of karma. You're tying up a cycle because perhaps you chose to heal. This person, they're deciding to heal now, but that doesn't mean that they don't have karmic debts to pay. And if you don't want to be attached and, and bound to their karmic debts, then you need to accept this new offer that's being presented to you. You don't need to miss out on your opportunity because you're focused on... Here it is right here. Those three bodies. If you if you take this offer from this person, you're going to get their offer, but you're going to pay what they weigh too. You're going to pay their karma with them. And this person, they know that. Okay, I'm going to call it like I said. This person is very much emotionally unavailable, detached, and they carry narcissistic traits. This person, they already know that if they were to get with you now, 
you're going to be stuck dealing with whatever situation that, that they've gotten themselves into. And I see a lot of different situations here. This person, they could have hurt a lot of different people. They could have been into various situations. Maybe they betrayed friends and family. Okay. This person could have had children with someone else. Some of you, this is someone that you considered as a, tw as a twin flame. It could be your twin flame or it was just a very strong, strong, like karmic connection to a soulmate that you had. Um, I feel like here, th th this, to me, the way that the energy here feels like you're mourning someone, this person is still here. But I feel like when you self-reflect and you look at everything that happened, maybe it's been three or more years since you've been waiting on this person. Maybe you and this person have separated three times. Something about the number three keeps coming out. I don't know if this, this, this person could have been married three times. They could have three or more children. If you choose to put your guard down with this person, you will adopt all of their karma. You, you will take on all of their karma and adopt. For some of you, you may be forced to adopt this person's children or something else here. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But if you know that, that this is not the life that you want, you need to move forward. You need to raise the bar. Your baseline is different. Don't be afraid to ask the divine for more. Don't be afraid to ask for better. This this was once your baseline. This was once when you were scared, wounded, and broken in the past. Maybe you thought that this was as good as it was going to get. It's not. Because you're no longer on that lower vibration. You can do better. Somebody, you, you really need to, you, you're going to have to really encourage yourself. Be encouraged. You can do better than this. Some of you, this person, they re they really, um, especially for my for women who are watching this, and the majority of my viewers are women. A lot of you, this person, they don't allow you to be feminine because they absorb all of your feminine energy. You have to give so much to this person. You have to try to play the role of at least three different people to satisfy this person. And earlier, like I said, you have a king of cups that will come in and they will see you as the empress. They will see that you embody so many different queens as one person. And they will give you the exclusive monogamous, faithful, devoted type of connection or relationship that you want. This person here has toxic traits. They have addictions. They need a lot to be satisfied. You can't, um, you can't satisfy this person if they're not healed. And from the looks of it, this looks like if this person comes in, it's, it's a facade. This person is not healed. Or they could be healing, but they still... Healing doesn't mean that the karmic debts are just forgiven. No, they still have to, karma is still coming to collect. It's just a missed opportunity, but it, it's really not a missed opportunity because this was never meant for a lot of you anyway. It was meant to teach you the importance of you making healthier choices in love and in life. It was meant to teach you that to be happy, you need to love yourself more. Yeah. You're going to receive what you need here. The boat. Don't be afraid to take time um, away. Maybe take a, vo a vacation. But what you need is coming in. Yeah, the butterfly is here. Your relationships are evolving into the next phase. You're healing your inner child. You're growing. You're transforming. This is, um, this is good. I mean, this is good. Yeah, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. This is changing. Um, you liberating yourself from this situation, choosing to end it, like put the nail in the coffin and not return is going to actually prepare you for a, a marriage. A union. Someone who's going to, to show you with their actions every day that it's safe for you to be vulnerable. It's safe for you to be feminine. Or they're going to respect you being masculine. Someone here, they don't have respect for other people. They see you as, as supply. They see you as 
I, I hear like you're their workhorse. This person will, will make you do everything while they sit back and they do nothing. Because they're selfish, they they need that to feed their ego. So that's not fair, okay? It's not fair. I have these, um, I've been telling you guys the last few days, I've been trying to use all of the decks that I have here in, just here on the desk right now, because I have them. And you guys are so kind and generous to send me decks, so I want to make sure that I'm, I have tons of decks, of course, that I've purchased myself, but I don't use them. So I'm trying to incorporate more of these Oracle decks. So this is a shadow work deck I have here. It says here, oh wow. <laughs> I literally just said that. Superficial, you care too much about outward appearances. Start with your inner work, your value, your self-esteem, your personality. So this could be for you or this is what, you know, this other person needs to work on. Someone here is very superficial and manipulative. It says, let go of wanting to exert power over someone or a situation. Do you need to work on your self-esteem? So yeah, this is a narcissist here. This is someone who has a lot of self-esteem issues and, and insecurities, their own doubts and fears, and they hide behind money, power, prestige, and other people. This part, this is for some, this is definitely a man. This person gets all of their power, their ideas, their creativity off of other women. And you have here, forgive self, accept what has happened and give yourself grace to make mistakes. So again, like I said, this is a karmic situation, but you learn all of the lessons here. You've gotten everything that you can get from this situation. What's this? Compulsive behaviors. Identify your internal feelings. What are you looking to control or feel for the moment? Like I said, for some of you, this person, they could have addictions, a sex addiction, Okay, narcissism and codependency is an addiction too because when you think about being in a connection with this type of person, this type of unhealthy connection, you're always waiting on this person to come in and make you an offer. Even subconsciously, you know, when you're not talking to this person, you're always wondering, are they going to come back? You're always wondering, are they going to choose you? You know, or this person compulsive, they're always looking for the next best thing. Because they, you and this person, because it's not just on them. We have to be accountable for ourselves too. Some, there's a void that you have. There's a feeling that you're, you're searching for. So it allows you to lower your standards, expectations, and that baseline to deal with something that you know you don't want to deal with. Or something that you know will not bring you any value. And then you have greed. It says you are too attached to things in an excessive way. Nothing good comes out of it. This is being too attached to the idea of a situation. Too attached to potential. Too attached to sex, money. Whatever it is. Or even just too attached to energy. It's It makes you compulsive. It's codependency. It's toxicity. And then we have defensiveness here. So don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Hear other people's perspectives and feelings. Shift your focus to them. It's not always about you. This is someone to, you know, if this isn't you, um, they hate to hear these things about themselves. If you were to tell this person, hey, I feel like you're selfish, they, they would tell you all the reasons why they're not selfish. Of course, they will go right into gaslighting you. You know, and by the time they finish, you would think that, you're crazy and you've done something wrong. This is abuse. Okay. This can, this can come from a, a parental figure. And typically if you deal with a narcissistic parent, most of your partners are narcissistic because you're, you're taught to feel guilty about having boundaries. Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> you've been conditioned to feel guilty about having self-worth and, and value and having boundaries. Some of you, you experienced this with at least three significant relationships in your life. And I just want to say too, most of my viewers are women, but women 
and man need to understand that there are plenty of men who are abused by narcissistic women. There's a lot of men who were raised by a narcissistic mother who was not emotionally available at all, who showed them no attention or affection, and they go out into the world and they attract narcissistic women who are very superficial, who only want them for their money and what they can do for them. Women who are mean, aggressive, defensive. I want the collective because like I said, I, I, my readings are not, I try to keep them general and include everyone, but most of the viewers are women. Ladies, as you meet different men, have some compassion because for some of them, there are men who have had to divorce women who are de who are defensive, they're mean, they're nasty, they're abusive, they're narcissistic. And for the sake of them and their kids, they've had to leave. So don't think that a man can't be a victim of narcissistic abuse. It happens every day. And it usually starts with their own mother. A lot of extremely masculine women tend to be very narcissistic because they don't feel comfortable with being vulnerable. They don't know how to receive love and that's how they condition their children. So sex doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. For some of you, this is a past person that carries this narcissistic type of behavior. But some of you also, you could meet a person or, and this could even, this could be you or someone that you're meeting that's coming out of a cycle of dealing with this type of unhealthy type, you know, connection or narcissism. And when you, when you decide to take a chance on that person, you have to show them a bit of compassion because honestly, it's like PTSD. It's a form of emotional abuse.